8. The roots of the equation are in the ratio of 1 to 3. Find the values of P. So, ratio 1 to 3. So, we know that one root is 3 times of the other root. If you let it be as A, so this one is 3 alpha. The roots of equation. So, here we have x square plus P x plus 27 is equal to 0. So, we know the formula here. x square minus sum of root x plus Product of root here, product of root is equal to 0. In this case, we can see that sum of root, so we see this one is negative, this one is positive, this one is negative P. And product of root is equal to 27. Sum of root, so we see here when this one is the our root, alpha and 3 alpha, sum of root is equal to alpha plus 3 alpha. And this one, product of root is equal to alpha times 3 alpha. If you see here, for sum of root, we have two unknown, which is P and alpha. But for product of root, we have only one unknown, which is alpha. So if we can solve this one, we can get alpha and substitute it inside here. So here, 27 is equal to 3 alpha square. So alpha square is equal to 27 divided by 3 alpha. So, we get 9 here. So, alpha is equal to third plus minus 9, which is equal to plus minus 3. For sum of root here, we have negative P is equal to alpha plus 3 alpha or negative P is equal to 4 alpha. So, we have two value of alpha when alpha is equal to 3. Negative P is equal to 4 times 3 which is equal to 12. P is equal to negative 12. When alpha is equal to negative 3. So here we have negative P is equal to 4 times negative 3. Negative P is equal to negative 12. P is equal to 12. So we see here the roots of the equation. Find the values of P. So the values of P is P is equal to negative 12 and P is equal to 12.